welcome back to another video and as you can see in the title this is going to be the very most exciting video that I'll ever have to film probably on my point of view but this is going to be very very exciting because this is a different take from what I usually do which is probably fashion lifestyle mostly about me but this is going to be a how I write my nose video this is something that is very 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 special for me because I have probably a good penmanship based on my friends and my classmates uh, compliments about my nose so I decided to film this because it is very 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 relaxing for me to write some notes because it probably it absorbs my mind more kapag sinusulat ko talaga and I probably wanted to show it with you guys because you might be interested on what depends I use, what are some tips that you want to know on basically writing your nose, how will you beautify your nose if you have a very the average penmanship that you have so without further ado this is how I write my nose. Ta-da! with the things that I normally use when I'm writing my notes. So first of all, these are the four materials that I use normally because I'm not a big fan of multicolored pens na ano na, kunwari, for the topic, you will use a red ball pen and then for the definition, you will use black ball pen or whatever, like blue ball pens and stuff. Basta yung gusto ko, pure black lang talaga. Yung notes ko. Basically, I just use different types, different points, different brands ng pens, but all in the same color, which is black. So, I have here the Pilot Petite Feud Pen. This is actually my calligraphy pen. I'm going to show you. Yan siya. Okay. Okay, this is how it looks like. Super maliit lang. Like, ito yung hand ko. Ganyan lang siya. And it has a felt tip. It has a felt tip na ganyan. And then it comes with a refillable here. The ink is in here. And then you could just refill it. Wala, wala dito yung ano, refill. Pero this is how it looks like. Med medyo paubos na. Pero super mura lang ito guys. And this is really good for beginners who want to try out calligraphy. And yeah, this is how it looks like. And then for the next, this is for the titles. I write it for the titles, like yung chapter one, the title, cursive writing, and then I will write it with this one. This is the Pilot G2 Gel Typing Ballpoint Pen, which is extra fun. Yeah, ganun yung refill niya, and this is how it looks like. So I barely have like yung mga ganito, yung ginagina lang siya. I mostly have yung the lid, I mostly have that. And this is very very nice for like when you're writing bold letters, when you're writing titles and stuff, where you're, you're like you wanted to put emphasis on that specific word. I like to use this one. There are two kinds of pen that I use whenever I write the definition itself. Nah. So basically, it is the Pilot G Tech C4, which is probably everyone's go to ball pens, especially for college students. This is something that I very, very, very love because it's so fine. This is the other one, which is the my gel the point zero point five and this is so perfect for you guys who want some yung super fine lang no no letters and stuff before i wanted na super like yung point seven na ganito yun yung lagi kong ginagamit but then i realized ko super super taking na tignan sa when i look at my the layout of my notes parang naninigaw yung notes ko parang ganun kasi yung implication sa akin when it is bold so i wanted to have some variation so I use this one for the bold letters and I use this one for this one for the, the definition itself. So here is my binder. Here is the binder that I bought from Shopee. If you're interested, I can put the link down below if you're interested in knowing what the shop I bought this in. So this is actually an inspiration from the brand Muji from Japan. This is less than 100 by the way. And what I love about this is it's refillable. So, pwede mo siyang buksan over here. 
and you could just like refill or you could just own it or detach the pages that you don't want in your notebook anymore so this is what i used for the first semester so in the second semester i used it again but bumili lang ako ng refill ng, ng pages, ng grade pages and yun, tinanggal ko lang sila and then I replaced it. So, it's very easier for you and very very much useful. I use the grid type of paper. I don't like the dotted one but there are other options like the lined one or the just blank, plain blank. It's easier for you to line your notes. So, I bought also some dividers so I can you know, label it with this is statistics, this is zoology, this is STS, this is blank. It is easier for me to divide it. So, basically, this is how my notes look like. I'm going to just play a montage, montage of my notes, but basically, this is what it looks like. For this, uh, for this right here, I used the pilot one. This is the calligraphy pen, and for this one, the definition, as I said earlier, is by the my gel in the point 0.5 so just an overview ganyan lang siya sometimes i fold it in half para mas uh, maraming space but then i just wanted to show it you to you guys yan lang siya so yan for emphasis lang talaga yung bold for the bold letters yon i just wanted to variate them so these are just some of my notes but Number one tip, if you're not really sure on what to write, you could just put it on a scratch so you won't, it's not hassle for you to rewrite it again and again. So what I mostly do before I arrive at that beautiful note is this is what I have. So basically, I just ko muna siya sa yellow pad when discussion so I can add some suggestions, add some notes, add some they sabi ng prof and I just noted here. So basically, this is how ugly really my notes looks like. So yan, ganyan lang talaga siya. Ang pangit niya, diba? Tapos ayan, ganyan. Before I arrive at that arrangement, this is the first step properly. So meron pa ako dito, meron pa ako dyan, ganyan. I just get whatever paper, pero dun ako nag ng note and dun ko nire-write. This also serves as my reviewer. This binder holds a lot. Nandiyan na talaga yung complete reviewer ko. Pero sometimes, if I wanted to review more or retain more of the information, nag re talaga ako sa index card. So, para mas maalala ko siya. So, tip number two is that for you to make your notes cleaner, super duper neat, it's very, very hard to keep your notes neat, diba? Lalo na kapag may itadagdag pa pala, ganun. I know the struggle, you guys. I've been there, I've been there. So, what I probably do is that nagli-layout na ako. So, I write it in pencil and I will leave space for that. And then, I will write it in pencil and leave space for that. So, it won't be like shackled up and I won't be, you know, stressed on how, how where will I put this, where will I put that. Kaya ganun. Kaya, nag-layout ko na siya. So, another one, as I said, this is the calligraphy pen. Tapos yan, may mga computation because this is statistics. And then, may mga drawing. So, I used this one. Oh my gosh, I'm going to show you my zoology notes.
ayan siya. And you also use that for emphasis and like yun. It's just the basic things that I usually do. That's everything for this video. This is a very, very, very much short video, but I hope that you guys get something from me. And I love this kind of video that I could do, like from versatility and stuff, like from fashion to lifestyle to art. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something from me today, and I hope you will watch for more and comment down your video suggestions below. And if you want, some things that you want to clarify on this video just comment down and i will answer it and that's probably it thank you so much love for watching and i'll see you in my next vlog Ciao.